Fed Chairman Jay Powell will be speaking in California later today about the economy. A new CNBC survey gauges how some Americans feel about the current economic climate and how that compares to those in several other countries. CNBC senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson joins us right now with some of the results from that survey. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Becky. You know, taking the pulse of their views about the economy, responses of those who were surveyed were mixed. While U.S. adults surveyed were pretty evenly split in their feelings about where the economy is heading, a majority of respondents in Mexico, Singapore, and Switzerland were optimistic about the direction of their economies. Meanwhile, most of the adults surveyed in the U.K., France, Spain, Germany, and Australia had a pessimistic outlook. This CNBC Your Money International Financial Security Survey was conducted by SurveyMonkey in March among more than 4,300 adults in nine countries. Overall, a majority of those surveyed said they're stressed about their personal finances these days. Inflation is the main source of their financial stress, more than their lack of savings, economy-wide instability, aging, or rising interest rates. As a result, in the U.S. and eight other countries, most respondents in the survey said, beside their main job, they are relying on their personal savings for financial security, more so than government assistance, a pension or retirement plan, or investment income. However, having enough personal savings may be difficult for many of them to achieve, since most of those surveyed said they're living paycheck to paycheck. You can see more results from this survey at cnbc.com slash your money. Becky? So, Sharon, in this one, you were surveying consumers. If you were to compare that with what CEOs have to say, what's, do they match up, or is there a different view? The, the view is still not totally optimistic, but it is has improved from a year or so ago. PwC did a stir survey, and they looked at about 4,000 top CEOs around the world. And their optimism and their outlook for the economy is improving, but it's not like most of them think it is a rosy picture. But inflation being the number one issue, that's a big deal. It's a big deal, and, it, and it's consistent with many other surveys. We're looking at uh, organizations like the National Foundation for Credit Counseling looking at financial capability of adults. They recently did a survey. They also found that many, many Americans overwhelmingly are stressed. And what's more important, they're very concerned about the instability of the government impacting their finances over the next 12 months. And that, perhaps, is stopping them from doing some of the planning that they need to do right. to become more financially secure. L literally generations didn't know what inflation was. 40 years. I mean, 40 years where it's like, oh, yeah, I've heard of inflation, but is it really that bad? You know, yeah. companies can raise prices. But then when you see it firsthand, and we, we still do it, and, you know, well, lucky for us, it's, it's, it's just a novelty. Right. I mean, that sounds horrible, but when I see it, it's like, whoa, that really costs that much? But can you imagine if you have X amount of dollars and four kids and this amount of income and you're paying 20, 25 percent more and haven't made that much more, you are buying less. You're, you're substituting. You're buying less. The, 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 the portions are less. You can't afford to you're, you're, with your family. You're having hamburger helper without the hamburger. Like, uh, That's why so many of the people in our survey said that they're living paycheck to paycheck. That's the most insidious, probably. It's almost, it's not as bad as losing your job, obviously, but, no, but it, makes it goes hand in hand. About cutting rates still. Yeah. yeah, and there's nothing you can do to control inflation. As an individual, you, you can't, you can't yeah. do anything.